corner. A second carry for Williams. Collins. Out of bounds at the Cajun 34. Just eating up the yardage with big plays. Not a bad way to start your career if you're Alex Collins. The first time you touch the ball, vision to get outside and the speed and the ability to get. down to the six-yard line and complete. Hold him the four catch. Play action as Allen rolls, throws wide open, touchdown, Arkansas, Javante Herndon. going to come down here if they come off the play action fake and work around the db's eyes is going to look back at the quarterback he's going to lose sight of javante herndon at the top of the screen just an excellent job of working this looks to be a 27 yard attempt and broccoli missed it line to the right today's game with the daniel cadona for louisiana surgeon from the 32 just tripped up. Oh, a terrific play. Made after the 45-yard punt. 7-0, Arkansas. Broadway down the sideline. Caught at the two-yard line. The goal from the two-yard line. Cajuns missed a field goal in the first quarter. Now look at the score, and they get six from Alonzo Harris. 25th anniversary season here at Razorback Stadium. Allen looks to go deep. Home run ball down the middle. Javante! Touchdown! with his second touchdown reception of the game. And Zach Hawker. High snap, control. And the kick is good. Great job by Matt Emmerich on the hole. So Herndon. Streaking down the middle. And Allen hit it perfectly. Touchdown, Razorback. Arkansas 14, Louisiana 7, 11 30 left in the second. Essex. Allen, Herndon, over the 50. My face, Robert Thomas says he just has some God given stuff. You know that stuff you can't teach anybody? This would complete. Breaking free. Hatcher. And marked out of bounds at the five. Deion Hatcher. There was some questions whether he would be able to play today. Nursing a sore hamstring, but returned this week to practice. Well, he looked good there, didn't he? I'll tell you, I'm impressed as this game continues to go on with Brandon Allen finding the right guy to get the football to. And these Arkansas... Oh! Allen from his own end zone. Points and throws, and it's complete. Out to the 22 for the first down. A 17-yard pickup. And a grab by Jeremy Sprinkle, the redshirt freshman. For great timing on the throw by Brandon Allen. The 37. Allen now looks, has time, cranks, and it's complete. Down to the 39-yard line. There's Hunter Henry again, and you can see why the coaches have fallen in love with this young man. 
Fred Bill told us he's put a lot of tight ends in the NFL at Wisconsin. He said Hunter Henry has a chance to be as good as any of those guys. And it's not hard to see why. Making big plays. He's a tight end, but they can split him out at a wide receiver position because of how athletic he is. He's six foot six, 250 pounds. And once again, the timing on the throw from Brandon Allen. I mean. Broadway pressured and dropped. Flowers got in there again. Of seven, third and 13. They stand everyone up again on a passing situation and they get the pressure. And down goes Broadway. Is it a fumble? If so, Louisiana will have it, or will they rule Hunter Henry down or an incomplete pass? Say an incomplete pass. Incomplete pass it is at the 45-yard line. You read his lips. That was a fumble, says Coach Hudspeth. Well, that time Arkansas comes out and goes five wide. They work it to Hunter Henry, and it looks to me like he had possession of that football. He took a couple steps with it, which means he had control. After further review, the ruling is the receiver caught the ball, fumbled it. There was an immediate recovery by the defense. It'll be Louisiana's ball, first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Extremely well today. Straight to Alonzo Harris, and look out from behind. That ball's on the carpet, and it's going to belong to Arkansas. So the Razorbacks get it right back. Dietrich Wise was able to fall on that football. Well, huge turn of momentum getting Arkansas offense back out on the field right after they had just turned it over. Play action. Swing it to the fullback. Collins. Tremendous burst of speed inside the 15 to the 14. There's that center. Watch 64. Travis Swanson, the center, the athletic ability of sophomore. So great to get Jonathan Williams and his running ability back into this offense. Get it out of the flat. Look at the strength by Kiara Small, number 59, Jake Moore. High energy is an understatement, big time. He makes coffee nervous. <laughs> <laughs> now the Razorbacks look to answer. Nice cut back by Jonathan Williams. Turns the corner down the sideline. Can they catch him? center and guard position for Louisiana, trying to create confusion. They bring five, and they get a sack. The first sack of the day for none other than Chris Smith. Well, they moved him around this time, brought him on that right side, and Smith got to the quarterback. Well, when offenses are keying on your main guy, Chris Smith, you have to move him around, make him 
make the offense not know where he's at. Make them have to adjust to it. Then all this. Oh, look at that. Throw. And look what Collins does with it. But back to the locker room. Runway's pass deflected. And it is intercepted at the 40 yard line. Michael Winston was able to pull that baby out of the air after it was deflected at the line. Nick Chris Smith was there. Wow. It's a long that season, isn't it? It is a long regular year. By the time Louisiana plays, there's a sack. By the time that Louisiana flowers, boy, what a day he's had. By the time Louisiana plays that last regular season game on December 7th, the day for Brett Bielema comes to an end and it ends in the victory column. Handshakes all the way around for the new head coach. His goal each week is to go 1-0, mission accomplished. Off to a great start. The final score from Fayetteville, Arkansas 34, Louisiana 14. We'll be back.